Okay, lesson 5.4, solving special systems of equations. So I told you we'd be learning three different ways, and we have, we've got by graphing, substitution, and elimination. So now when we look at special systems of equations, they just tell you basically solve them. So when we're doing that, we get to choose which of those three ways to use. But um, before we really get into this lesson, I want you to copy these three graphs down and just write the word that's above them and then the line below them. So this one, one solution, the lines intersect. This one, no solution, the lines are parallel. And this one, infinitely many, the lines are the same because that's basic, That's technically two lines is what they're saying. Okay, so you can pause the video if you need to, but you're going to copy those three things down. So do that now. And then I'm going to look at example one. So solving a system. So we're just doing what we have been. It just says solve this system of linear equations. Y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals 2x minus 5. Okay, they graphed them. They said there's two methods on this. I mean, that you could use. You could use any of them. Substitution, graphing, or elimination. So this one, since they were both already y equals, they graphed them because you graph your y-intercept first, and your slope tells you where to go from there. So they said, okay, you go up to 1, and then it's a slope of 2, up 2 over 1. Uh, then they went down to negative 5, up 2 over 1. And if you notice, they're both continuing the same. And we already knew from past uh, chapters, if they have the same slope, they are parallel. We know that. So, but they told us to solve it, so we had to do something, okay, even though we knew that. Since they're parallel, these lines are never going to intersect, so it is no solution, and you can use the little symbol that's a circle with a line through it. No solution. Okay, so then they show you doing the same problem by substitution. Since they were both already solved for y, you could just pick one of them to plug into the other. So they took and said 2x minus 5, and they plugged it into the other equation for y. So then you have to get your x's together, so you subtract it across the equal sign, and they cancel, and you're left with negative 5 equals 1 because our variables canceled out. Negative 5 does not equal 1, nor will it ever. So that's another way you know that it's no solution. Okay, we're going to look at another one. Okay, so solve this system of equations. So these aren't nice and pretty and solve for y yet, or x, because for substitution it can be for either one. So since the x's are lined up and the y's are, I would say they went ahead and graphed this, so they rearranged it. But I would say the best way on that one would maybe be elimination. So to do that, you could either multiply this one by negative 2 or this one to get rid of your y. So let's multiply the top equation by negative 2. That might be what they do further down. Yep, that is. Okay. So they took and multiplied this top equation by negative 2 to get one of the variables to cancel out at least. Okay, when they do that, it becomes negative 2 times negative 2x is positive 4x minus 2y equals negative 6. Okay, when we do that, we look, 4x minus 4x, they cancel. Negative 2y plus 2y. Okay, on this one, both of our variables canceled. And we get 0 equals, but then on this side, negative 6 plus 6, it also canceled. So we are left with 0 equals 0. That is always true. So the answer to this one is infinitely many. Also, when they graph it, when you graph them, they're based, they are the same line. So it would just graph on top of each other. Okay, because that's, get that out of the way. Okay, so I want you to try all four of these. We're going to get some good practice at this. You get to choose which way to solve it. You can do graphing, substitution, or elimination. At least try two different ways. Okay, if you've got one that's your favorite, you could do it on three of these problems, but at least on one of them, try a different way just to get some extra practice at it, and then I will go over all four of them with you. Okay, on one through four, I'm going to start at the first two for sake of room. We are solving the special systems of equations. So this first one, with these, you get to choose which way to solve them, okay? So I will solve this one by substitution. 
So I'm going to subtract x to the other side on that one to get y equals 3 minus x. I'm going to take that, plug it in for y on this one. So 2x plus 2 times y, which is now 3 minus x, equals 6. So I distribute. And remember, there's more than one right way. So 6x minus 4x, since they're on the same side of the equal sign. Oh, and there's a 2 one up front. Did I do that right? Oh, that one's not an x. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I was like, something's wrong here. Okay. 2x minus 2x cancels, and I'm left with 6 equals 6. That is true, will always be true, even when our variables cancel out. So that is infinitely many. Okay, so since I did substitution on that one, on this second one, I will do graphing. There's three ways to do them. So I just have to rearrange this one solving for y. That one's already in the right form. I'm going to show you one of all different ways. So that way, whichever way you're choosing, you can check yourself with that. I'm going to go ahead and put it in mx plus b form. Now divide everything by 2. Okay, I have my two equations. Okay, so this one. My y-intercept is 3, so I go to 3 and put a point. My slope is negative 1, which means negative 1 over 1. Down 1 over 1. I'll call this line A. And this one line B. So it, it starts at 2. And it has the same slope. Down 1 over 1. So these two lines are parallel, which means they will never intersect, which tell me, tells me there is no solution at which they will intersect. Okay, let me erase the board. And we'll look at 3 and 4. These take so much space, I couldn't do them all on there. Okay. See, I've already done substitution and graphing. So I'll do one of elimination next. I'm going to do elimination. So on this one, to eliminate, I'm going to cancel my x's. So all I have to do is multiply one of them by negative 1. So negative x minus y equals negative 3. x plus 2y equals 4. So negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Negative 1y plus 2 is 1y. And those cancel. So I've solved for y. Back into one of my original equations for y. So my solution here is 2, 1. Okay, did I copy that down right? Let's see, it's plus 2y, uh, subtracted that, yeah, okay, on 4, I will do substitution again, so I'm going to take this, plug it in for y on that one, so I have 10x plus negative 10x plus 2 equals 10. Since it's just plus and there's nothing, I can pretty much just drop these. But I'll keep it around my little negative 10. 10x plus negative 10x cancels, and I'm left with 2 equals 10, which is not true. So no solution. Okay, so a real-life problem. 
says the perimeter of the trapezoidal piece of land is 48 kilometers. So we have this trapezoid over here and some land, got some trees on it. It's 48 kilometers. That's the perimeter. Perimeter is when you add up the outer edge. It's the distance around something. Okay, so the perimeter of the rectangular piece of land is 144 kilometers. Write and solve a system of linear equations to find the values of x and y. Okay, that shouldn't be super difficult to set those up because that basically means if I add all these up, it would equal 48 kilometers. Okay, but I have two that have x's and two that have y's. You can combine those. So on this problem, this is the one for the trapezoid that did 2x plus 4x plus 6y plus 6y equals 48. So you can combine your x's. So 2x and 4x is 6x. 6y and 6y is 12y. So there's one of the equations. Then they did the same thing for the rectangle. 9x plus 9x plus 18y plus 18y is 144. You can combine your x's and you can combine your y's. So these are the two equations that we are solving for. So they do it two ways. They do it by graphing. Then they do it by elimination. I like by elimination on these when they're x, y, they're all lined up. Okay, so when they do it by elimination, they, let's see, what do they do? Let me erase my stuff. They took the top equation and multiplied it by negative 3. So that way the uh, 18, the x's could cancel. Okay, when they do that, we get negative 18x plus 18x cancels. Negative 36y plus 36y cancels. We have 0 equals negative 144 plus 144 also cancels. And since 0 does equal 0, the solution is infinitely many. Okay, so let me erase that. You're going to do number five. It says, what happens to the solution in example three, the one we just did, I'll scroll back up, when the perimeter of the trapezoidal piece of land is 96 kilometers? Explain. So you're going back, you're using the same problem. So you're using the same system of equations, except now the trapezoidal piece, which was this one, is no longer 48. It's now 96. So I want you to try that. Okay, on this last problem, number five, it says, what happens to the solution in example three when the perimeter of the trapezoid piece of land is now 96 kilometers? So that means we're still going to have those same equations, the 6x plus 12y, but now we'll have that that one equals 96 instead for the perimeter. And then the other one was 18x plus 36y equals 144. Okay, so I would make my 6x negative 18. There's different things you could do. You could do substitution, elimination, graphing. I'm going to do elimination, and then there's also other things you can do within that, but I'm going to multiply this one times negative 3. So 6x times negative 3, I have negative 18x. 12y times negative 3 is negative 36y. And then 96 times negative 3 is negative 288. I typically would have wrote these the other way, but it doesn't matter. 18x minus 18x cancels. 36y minus 36y cancels. And we get 144 minus 288 is negative 144. And that won't be true. So it's no solution. So it said, what happens to the solution? Well, there isn't one. It completely changed and now there isn't a solution.